So, Jaguar Wright responded to an interview that Storm did with some guy. I don't remember the guy's name because nothing he said in the interview was memorable, okay? Except what he said about Jack. And to be totally honest, that's the only reason why I tuned in. I don't know who that man is. Never heard of him. To make a long story short, he said Jag was a messy, pass around, problematic, aggressive, alcoholic when she was in the industry. Okay? Before Jag Wild Wright responded, I said to myself, he probably don't even know her. And when she responded, voila. She said she don't know the man. She never heard of him. She ain't never seen him. None of that. And after saying all that, she went off on Erica Badu. Because according to Jaguar Wright, he must have been one of Erica Badu's minions. Okay? To be honest, the interview was a mess. Right? In my opinion, it seems as though the man was brought on the platform just to bash Jag. And not only did he talk trash about Jag, he slick treated Storm like he was stupid. Okay? Storm had no control over that interview. He couldn't handle that man. He couldn't even hardly carry on the conversation with the man. He couldn't keep up with him. The man treated him like he was an idiot, in my opinion. In my opinion, that interview was not even worth responding to. But I guess it is what it is. She also stated that she'll be suing Storm. Girl, for what? He a YouTube blogger. I don't know about anybody else but when I say Storm was Jaguar right cash cow what I meant by that was he was paying her for those interviews I didn't mean it like he got a big bank because from the looks of it he don't look like he's worth a lawsuit he don't look like his bank account big enough to handle a lawsuit regardless of what he said online I just get a different impression from my observation. So, it is what it is, girl. If you feel like he worth suing, then do you. You know, it's just a quiet night by the fire. I should be on fire. But I'm not. Me and my husband just got finished watching um, the new Storm Monroe expose on me. With what's that fool ass nigga name? Young Muhammad out of time. Young Muhammad from Capri Music? That's the name of his album. Oh, the name of the album is Capri Music. I thought he was a CEO of a record label. No, the record label. He was on with Carver Records and. Bondside Entertainment. Too. Starving Records and Bondside Entertainment. Entertainment. Two. 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 <laughs> and these are based out of where? I don't know where they're based out of. He, he, he I mean, he, he yeah, attached he, himself to Badu, right? Oh, yeah. Coming from DSR. He, he was later add, added to DSR. Mm. So, this is one of her little flunkies. Probably high on that Baidu pussy juice. <laughs> Trying to keep away from the COVID. But what I find interesting is he said he was 17. So let me catch y'all up. This little nigga, what's his name? Lucci? What is it? Lucci something? Yeah, Muhammad. Young Muhammad. I'm sorry. He ain't even got the hot trend. Like, you remember when everybody was little this or young this? And now he, um, I thought he was one of them Luchis because the Luchi is a new thing. Everybody Luchi now, right? So he ain't even, okay, so he's just, um, 
Young Muhammad. <laughs> okay, so in the interview with Storm, let's let's clarify a few things. He said I was 25 and he was 17, but he was at the club. But you're from Dallas. And you said you were in Erica's band and I was trying to sleep with everybody in Erica's he band. He from oh, he from Tyler. Yeah. Oh, you from the country. You from East Texas. You must be bored as fuck, nigga. So, he said that when he was 17 back in Philadelphia, just to be clear, I've never seen that nigga before a day in my motherfucking life. And by the looks of him, I wouldn't have touched him to scratch him. That just wasn't my type. And I didn't do young boys. Every dude that I dated was at least 10 years older than me. But what's funny is he said that um, I was passed around Erica Badu's band back in Philly. But Erica Badu never lived in Philadelphia. She worked in Philadelphia, but she never lived in Philadelphia. She lived in New York. She was, don't you put your hind leg up on me, King. Please call him. Uh, you, look, this heat thing, you, we're going to have to get you a girlfriend. We're going to have to get you a girlfriend, King. I am not your girlfriend. I am mama. I'll be put, rubbing your balls up on my feet when I'm on the live. Ooh, he frisky. Anyway, like I was saying. Erica didn't have a band in Philadelphia. The only band she would play with in Philadelphia was The Roots. And when she was in New York, she would use Belial's band. And all of those niggas was from BAM. Brooklyn Academy of Music. So not only are his facts utterly wrong, but he actually said that he fucked with me and he could have smashed me, but my ass wasn't uh, fat enough for him. Which is funny because it's kind of reminiscent of the com com uh, 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 the comment that I made on Storm's show about how Erica wrote the song Booty about me because she was mad that all the niggas was checking for me. I'm not saying that niggas wasn't checking for her, but everybody knew she was a goddamn fucking weirdo and she still had the stink of Andre 3000 all over her. Who she cried about every night. Who she wanted back so badly. She lucky I don't tell the stories that I know about her and Andre back in the day when they first got together. When she was right before she got pregnant with Seven. They was fucking like wild animals all the time. Didn't wash, didn't use deodorant. You could smell their asses every time you open the motherfucking hotel room door. And everybody said so at the Mondrian in L.A. Y'all was on some back to Africa shit. What the fuck y'all had going on? Fuck you, Erica. The sad part about it is you want to put this little fucking nigga up to say that he fucked with me or he didn't fuck with me and that I did this knowing that he's lying. I never lied on you, Erica. I just told the truth. Maybe I should tell a little more. Or maybe I should just ignore it, say, what I, say my piece about it right now, and go back to forgetting about you. How are your streams doing, Erica? You and Ja come up with anything while he's sitting there in your house? Probably getting high on that Badu pussy juice. Pushing them two fucking buttons. I know y'all ain't got another on and on in you. Because I know the dude who actually wrote it. I didn't say anything about that. He just got out of jail. If I was you, Ja... I might want to change some of them album credits. He went to jail and then the song came out and blew up and y'all got the Grammy for it. I ain't going to say nothing else about it. I ain't even going to drop his name. Just me saying it's enough is, is enough to green light y'all pussy asses. I ain't never lie on you. Don't lie on me, Erica. Still mad at Andre ain't come back. But like you said in that Vibe magazine, you're going to be sitting on the porch waiting for him. Sitting on what porch? You don't ever come out of your house. You live like a vampire. You live in one of the best neighborhoods in Dallas. Best scenery. I've been on White Rock Lake more than you have. Why the fuck don't you come outside, bitch? Or better yet, why you got your sister Nate Rock running around lying, lying to local rappers? Guaranteeing them that you will appear on their live if they give her money to give to you. 
You've done that to a few local rappers. You was actually supposed to show up to Jay French live on, on, his, on, on his big release night. And you never showed up. But you had your sister take that $3,000 out of his account, though. And it told him it wasn't enough money to sit at the Badu table. Fuck your table, bitch. You got job on at your table. How your table looking now? RC and the grits. Cleon and them, man, that last Sunday night that I posted up with Be My Fiasco singing her ass off. Man, why weren't you there supporting them? Oh, that's right, Erica. Because they no longer work for you. They work for themselves, Erica. And while you're running around lying on them, saying, telling people behind the scenes that you fired them, because um, uh, because what did she say about RC that he was unprofessional and a drunk, and, and he just would throw subs on your job and he was unreliable? How fucking dare you try to discredit them? Like they're not professional. They were professional enough to be your slaves for over a decade, but then the second. People want to get a little bit of their own. Want to get a little bit of freedom. You want to run around and try to make them unemployable. Fuck you, Erica. I wasn't even going to say nothing about none of this shit. I was, I was going to mind my business and let the truth come out on its own. But now that you want to lie about me, let me tell some more truth about you, you fucking thief. You goddamn fucking island witch. And you ain't even from the islands. You old bayou bitch. Writing people's names in jars and putting it in your freezer. I know all about you. I know all about your quicks, Erica. Don't be lying about me. And you better tell that nigga, this man right here, my husband. We got family out, Tyler. We got friends out, Tyler. How easy you think it's going to be to find you? With your lying ass. What's his name? The, the uh, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad the fraud. Whatever the fuck you are with your Capri uh, music. You gonna say you fucked with me? You ain't never met me, bitch. And guess what? Storm on Road TV. Pow! You hear them fireworks? They for you, Storm, because you finally crossed the line. Congratulations. Now you two can be sued like your minion master, Tasha K. Defamation of character is a bitch, yo. And you just gave me a suit, Storm, against you. Against you. I tell you I forgive you. I show you nothing but love and encouragement. Even after you try to disgrace me. And you gonna have that lying piece of shit come on to your, your platform. That I helped you build to be what it is today. To lie about fucking with me. Is it that hard to get a credible interview anymore? No more interviews with Roseanne Barr? No more interviews with Lunell? No more interviews with me? This is what it is. This is what it's come to. You publishing lies from a liar who has never met me, who I have never seen, spouting bullshit propaganda from some old twisted up bitch who done passed her pussy around willingly more than I ever have. More importantly, Y'all talking about shit that I did 20 years ago. You supposed to do dumb shit with your body parts when you young. That's called being young. That bitch still making bad choices with her pussy right now. Her and Jill Scott. Fuck y'all. I still think Ari Lennox is better than all of y'all bitches. So what? Oh, by the way, Jill, good luck on your new podcast. With Aja and Laia. All former former acquaintances of mine. Because clearly we were we, none of us were friends. But I wish y'all all the best. I hope you get all the views in the world. Y'all bitches is ridiculous. You're mad because I stopped talking about you. You want to know why? Because you're no longer relevant. At least not in my story. 
You're just pawns and frauds. But Storm, for you, even this for you was low. Did you honestly fucking think I was going to have nothing to say about you bringing a liar on your pat platform to try to debunk me and defame me and make me look like I was some passed around trash? You want to know what's fucked up, Storm? That's what everybody says about you. They say you passed around in a hoe. They say you've been passed around from uh, Fire Island all the way down to the old Freaknik playgrounds. I have defended you. I have tried my best to protect you even from yourself. I have wished you nothing but well. But now I see why they call you, what is it, the Stormisha Alizé Mocha Shea? Because what you just did with that boy, that lying ass little motherfucker I ain't never laid eyes on before in my life, that was some bitch shit. That was some straight up bitch shit, Storm. You really gonna publish lies and think I'm not gonna say anything? This is gonna be the last thing I say about it publicly. Because now I'm gonna let a lawyer talk. And we'll sue you first. Because this was low. This was beyond low. Stormisha. Alize Mokashe. They don't they, you don't you don't actually did something that made me say it. Stormisha. Alize Mokashe. Wow. But um uh Luchi man, um Muhammad uh fraud uh Capri, nigga, whatever you are. You from Tyler. See you soon. Bye, y'all.